Hey, good morning, guys. I'm not sure what kind of video this is going to be about. Um, probably just a rambling video, really. Um, on one hand, I want to say I don't really have nothing to talk about. And on the other hand, I may have something to talk about. Um, I probably look a little tired. I don't know. I kind of feel a little tired. Um, I woke up only once throughout the night um still taking some ibuprofen um this morning cross my fingers <laughs> no headache or anything like that uh yet um it's one of those like it'll be my allotted hours and i could take my next ibuprofen around eight o'clock if I start to feel a headache coming on, uh, I really don't like to do that. You know, back to back, if there's nothing wrong, that's just not really how I roll. But, uh, I mean, other than that, I mean, I'm kind of happy that I, it just, Maybe it feels like my headaches are becoming less and less now, or maybe not as intense, if not less and less, just not as intense. I'm still taking my moxicillin. Um, yeah, I mean, that's that's kind of where I'm at. Uh, how are you guys doing? Um, don't be afraid to ever leave a message in the comments or whatever. Let me know what you guys are up to. I mean, I really don't know much about my audience i really don't know much about my subscribers and i'm definitely blessed and grateful to have what i do have um i don't know i don't think maybe there's enough dialogue there but uh just to let you guys know to my subscribers you are appreciated definitely uh, those who want to subscribe for more content subscribe like um but yeah, um, do I have plans this week? I, I don't know. I really don't know yet. Um, I want to say I really don't know how I'm going to be feeling, but I'm trying to be optimistic here. So hopefully I'll be feeling a little bit better through taking my amoxicillin and uh, getting less headaches. Because let's face it, headaches are no bueno. They're no fun, you know. Um, it's kind of hard to care or do stuff when you don't care but I, i'd like to be able to get some yard work done i'd like to be able to uh weed around the apple tree to uh definitely fertilize the apple tree and fertilize the tomato plants the tomatoes they are they're doing pretty awesome right now uh, a lot of flowers a lot of um tomatoes that are growing um, just kind of keeping my eye on it, keeping my eye for, uh, little creepy crawlers, or little aphids, things like that. Uh, the fig tree, the fig tree's doing awesome, really awesome. My, the one that's blackberry, for some reason, it just, it's not, it's not really growing. So I'm gonna give it a fertilizer spike. And see what happens. I mean, maybe it thrives a little more when it gets when it's supposed to be hotter. Uh, I guess we'll see. But however, uh, I also have the stargazer lilies, different kinds of lilies that are going to be blooming pretty soon. And uh, I, I have some certain ideas for next spring. I would like to have, I want to say, a raised bed, but not touching the ground. Um, like next to my wife and I are next to our bedroom window, and I want to put some stargazer lilies in there. So that way, when they bloom, you know, she can open up her curtains and she could see the flowers. In the springtime, and that's the thing, they're one-time bloomers. They bloom once a year, and then after they bloom, then they're finished. Um, I didn't know that the first year, 
So just to let you guys know, they're they're at least the ones I have are one time bloomers. They'll bloom only once. They won't bloom again during the same season, and then that's it. But you know what? That's what makes them special. Also, you know, enjoy them. I guess we can probably treat that a little bit, kind of well, kind of like life in general. We're only here once, and we better make the most of it. So, not trying to get too uh, philosophical or anything this early in the morning, but um, definitely, it's a good way to look at things, though. I mean, there's nothing negative about it. it. There's nothing negative about reflection and thinking ahead. I mean, you can think ahead all you want. You don't know entirely what's going to happen, but it's always good to plan, prepare, prep for whatever. See little birds sitting on the fence ahead of me over by the apartments next to the store. It's kind of flying around, probably looking for its breakfast or something. I see that quite a bit actually in the backyard. Uh, Either every time we water or anytime we're out in the back working on the garden, the birds will come down and just look around. And especially, you know, tilling up the ground, weeding, stuff like that. They'll look for, I imagine, worms, insects, whatever, whatever they, whatever they eat. But that's what it looks like right now that they're looking for their morning breakfast. Oh yeah, the Lord definitely takes care. Where are you at? There's a golf course that's across the street from the store. and I heard some uh, ducks flying overhead, but I don't see where they went. But I heard them. Well, guys, today's price change day and... A lot of things going on sale. That's when I usually make my extra cup of coffee. A well, little travel mug for when I get here. I, uh... Yes, sir. Just a lot of stuff to do. But, uh, yeah, like I said, um... Don't be afraid to have dialogue. Let me know how you guys are doing. I want to know how you guys have been, too. Um, I think it's very important to communicate and to, to touch base every once in a while. I mean, I know that you guys have stuff going on probably in your lives or, you know, busy, busy busyness. Or maybe not busy, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, like I said, just, uh... Drop me a comment and let me know how you guys are doing. Alright guys. Bye.